Hello and welcome into the 2023 Heart of America Athletic Conference Men's Volleyball Media Day. My name is Jillian Carroll. I'll be your host today. And I am joined now with Missouri Valley head coach Svetan Totterhoff and Vitor Firiachi. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Happy New Year. We appreciate you being here today. Coach, I'm going to start with you. Would you please help us understand a little bit about who Vitor is and what he brings to your team and your program. Yeah, uh, uh, thank you for, have, for having us. Uh, happy New Year first. Uh, Vitor is a uh, four, uh, fourth year senior. He's been a, he's been a detrimental part of our, of our team. He's been, he's been awesome all his, uh, throughout his four years here. Um, he's been very helpful kind of, um, helping other guys on the team grow, being a role model, just, just like any, just what I expect from any leader on the team or, or somebody that's been here for, for more than two years. And has been, um, he's um, obviously stepped up um, quite a lot and kind of showed the, the new guys, the freshmen, the sophomore that are coming in. Um, he's been kind of a role model for them, just not just on the court, but also in the cl in the classroom, which is very important uh, mm -hmm. for me as well. So um, that's um, that's the leader that I'm expecting, and obviously he's been he's been uh, providing us with that um, experience that he has. Yeah, very cool, Vitor. I'm sure it's great to hear your coach say such nice things. Um, share with us a little bit about where you're from and what you're majoring in. Uh, first of all, uh, Happy New Year for you and everyone that's here. Uh, so I'm originally from Brazil and I'm, my degree is in, uh, I have a double major in business administration and sports management. So I, you know, a lot of the, I've had a couple classes with uh, our coach too. So that's uh, his great professor. Uh, outside of you know being a coach so uh, that's kind of my my background I'm like uh, he said I'm, I'll be graduating in May and then I'm just uh, excited for the next steps. Sure sure share with us a little bit about your volleyball story and your journey and how you landed at Missouri Valley. Well so I started playing volleyball I was really young uh, I believe it's me 15 years, uh, 13, 14 years that I've been playing now. So it's quite a long time. And I started in Brazil, you know, little little kids school and just, you know, get going. And I started seeing that that was something that I really enjoyed playing and, you know, being around people that played volleyball. So I started, you know, taking a little more serious than just, you know, a, a school thing. And then I, I, in Brazil, we have clubs, kind of like here that you know go to uh like a little more developed level and then I started playing on that club and then I was really young they didn't even had uh, the age group that I was and then I was playing with older people as well so that was good for me for my growth uh kind of see older people playing and learn from them so that was amazing and then around my year in uh my freshman and sophomore year in high school that's when I started thinking about uh, coming abroad to the U.S. to play, because in Brazil, it's hard to uh, do both, get an education and play a sport. So I think I, I thought I could extend that, uh, my time playing and also get a degree, because you never know what's going to uh, happen tomorrow. And, yeah. you know, so uh, I'm glad I ended up doing that and choosing coming to the U.S. I've made, you know, a lot of friends. I learned a lot of things. I grew a lot uh like this four years that I've been here so I just have you know I'm just grateful for everything that happened uh, that was very cool I'm glad that you found a place that you feel you could be successful um let's talk about it how has preseason been how is the team looking well so we've had um a couple tournaments that we played in the preseason and we you know kind of getting the team together because we have a lot of like new people coming in we have quite a bit of uh, sophomores as well. And so it, it's been nice for us, uh, for me, as Svetlana was saying, kind of, you know, help everyone get together as a team and, you know, bring everyone together because it's always, you know, really, you have, oh, yeah, you have 16 weeks on the semester. And then when you start practicing, but when you see it's already 
you know, Christmas break, so time flies. But I believe that we we had the, on those two tournaments we have a lot we had a lot of positive things that we came up with. We have a few things that we were, we were struggling, but it was we were able to see that and kind of get it together on practice and uh, get better for you know for the uh, after that happened. So sure. it was pretty good those couple tournaments that we we played on preseason. Awesome. Coach, turning the tables to you, you know, assistant coach for three years with the program, now elevated to head coach of the Vikings. What does that mean to you? And just how are you feeling about your first year as a head coach? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. I think that's, that's the more um, kind of the more important thing is having confidence, having that readiness to step up and take over a team. And I feel that, uh, this is the right time for me to take that to being presented with that next step. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I embrace it. Obviously I'm still, again, still learning first year as a head coach, um, a lot of things to learn and, and, and a lot to grow, but I enjoy, I enjoy the process. I, uh, I love the guys. I would, uh, I love working with them. So um, it's been, it's been an awesome experience so far. Very cool. Any goals for your first season? Um, goal for us for, for, for the first season uh, would be since we have a lot of new guys uh, kind of get everyone together create create that team uh, that team chemistry that uh, team feeling which is very important moving forward kind of uh, the biggest goal right now is kind of to um, to relay the message to to the younger guys and also uh, also, the older guys kind of to set the tone of creating a, a winning team, um, kind of having a championship mentality, which everybody on the team is trying to kind of create moving forward. Because obviously, with so many freshmen and sophomores and sophomores, they would kind of create that that mentality and kind of move forward. And kind of uh, we were we were starting to see that in our in our last couple of weeks of practice. And uh, obviously, as as Vitor mentioned that. Our tournaments that we had, we played D two schools. We also played a, uh, we also uh, scrimmaged park, uh, which was a good good experience for us. And uh, we saw where we're at and what we need to work on. And obviously, kind of applying, kind of mixing all these all these things together. I think um, we've been uh, we've been moving pretty well. Well, you're staying on the move. You go hit the road for six matches uh, straight to get started. How big of a challenge will that present? Um, I feel like this will be a little bit of a challenge for us since uh, since a couple of our starters are going to be freshmen. So uh, it will it will um, take a toll on us a little bit on our on our mental maybe. I I. Um, I remember how I was when I was a freshman and we were traveling, but I think uh, with, uh, with the mixture of older guys and newer guys that will create for, for a faster, uh, faster development of, of these newer guys and they will get comfortable. I, I hope until the second or third game, hopefully they, they're going to be more comfortable playing on the road. Mm -hmm. Vitor, what is the campus like at Missouri Valley? And kind of talk to us about life as a student there, not necessarily a student athlete. Uh, uh, I believe that campus here is um, fairly, you know, it's a little small, but I believe that's a great thing because you walk around and you know everybody. There's like really, uh, we call it, you know, a Viking family. And you can really see that like whenever you're walking around campus, you know everybody, the people that work, the people, the students, uh, you know, you know everyone, you just say, hey, how are you doing? How's everything going? Kind of, uh, kind of deal, which like for me, whenever I arrived here as a freshman, mm -hmm. it's great to have, you know, that kind of feeling that people care about you, that the school cares about you, because you go, for example, for us, and I'll mix a little bit of the, the athlete part in there, but whenever we have to go on the road, like you said, we have six games straight on the road. Uh, if I have to go on the road, I'll talk to my teachers and, hey, I'll, I'll be missing class because of this and that, because I have a, uh, we have a game. And is there anything that I can do to get ahead of work or what do you want me to do? So that's something that I believe 
the having this Viking family is great because you can really talk openly to your professors. They know what's going on. And like I said, I believe that's great for the development of the academics. Yeah, it's so nice to feel the community, right? Mm -hmm. Coach, how does the community of Marshall embrace the Missouri Valley men's volleyball team? Um, I, I believe that we could still, uh, we could reach the, the community a little better. Uh, we do have, when we have games here, we do have a crowd from, from the students, but it is, it is mainly the students. There's not, there's not a lot of community involved, which I, I would love to, uh, and I have a plan for that in the future. I, I do know quite some people in Marshall uh, because I've been here for so long. So we'll try to kind of extend, uh, um, kind of create that, that feeling that, that they're welcome to our games. Uh, and uh, hopefully that works out for us. Yeah. Vitor, this conference, um is obviously one of the most difficult conferences to play in so tell me a little bit about as an athlete how and as you know for the team how you prepare for that competition you know night in night out but every single competition there's no days off right <laughs> like yeah, how do you prepare that. for that <laughs> uh I, I mean just like you said this is one of the best conferences in the past couple of years for the national tournament, they always have, you know, the the at large bids. And, you know, it's always been, you know, at least two teams from the heart of America that get invited to that tournament. So I believe that's, you know, just like you said, there's no day off. So you always got to come to the gym and you got to be better, you know, live better every day that you come in. I believe that's one mentality that uh, Coach Vettern, like, brings to us. You got to you come in a person, you got to be, you know, a better person, a better player after you leave because it's it's essential for the development of the team and the growth within the, the conference to get better and improve after each practice, each game. So I believe, you know, that's the mentality we got to have every day. Okay, my next question I'm going to pose to both of you, but coach, I'm going to start with you first. Looking at the team and where you came from last year, what's it going to take to finish top three or four and qualify for nationals? Um, I think what our, um, we were struggling with, uh, with uh, passing last year, which uh, we've, been, we've been kind of addressing that problem this year. So hopefully we do not have that problem again. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think having, having better passers, having improved on passing, and then everything else will, will fall into place. But I think uh, this year we would, with the players that we have and the players that we added uh, this fall, I believe we are going to be successful. And uh, uh, hopefully we, we are going to uh, compete for these, for these top spots uh, for sure. And Vitor, same question. What what's gonna have to change, or what do you have to work on to make strides to finish top three or four and qualify for nationals? I believe uh, that we we just got to keep doing what we're doing and improving. Like I said, improving after every game and learn from our mistakes, what we did wrong, what worked. And like Sveta said, our passing this year, we we're working on improving that, and you know, improving every player on their speciality, on their, you know, skill set, kind of improve on that and then get together. Because we know that one play, one player is not going to make a difference. We need the whole team together. So that's our mentality for the, the year. And I believe that that's uh, what's going to get us fighting for those spots to get to go to nationals. Excellent. Well, as you all strive to make it there, we wish you the best of luck for the 2023 season. Coach, I have one question for you that I'm asking every coach in the conference. So if you don't mind just sharing with me the first thing that comes to mind or the first thing you think of when you hear Heart of America Athletic Conference men's volleyball. Uh, definitely the best the best conference when it comes down to volleyball, the, the best conference in the NAI. Excellent. 
Excellent. Well, again, best of luck to you, Coach Vitor. Uh, Hope 2023 is fantastic. Again, thank you so much for your time today. Happy New Year and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you thank for you. having us.